beautiful people. Welcome to workout number eight. I am Ashley. I'm gonna be taking you through our session today. We've got a fun spicy little session with three sets. I will talk you through our pyramid workout as we go, but we're gonna get started with a nice little warm up. So I invite you to stand at the top of your mat, feet hip width distance apart. Take a nice big roll of those shoulders, opening that chest, a little bend into those knees. And as you arrive here, begin to focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Take a little time here to notice your energy levels this morning. Notice the intensity you want to work out. Let's go for three, for two, and one. Let's reach those hands all the way high overhead. Right hand grabs left wrist. Pull it up to the sky. Pull all the way to the right side. Good. Coming all the way back through center. Let's swap that grip. Take it all the way over to the other side. Maybe you close down your eyes here and we return back through center. Exhale, forward fold all the way down to the ground. Take your right fingertips down, bend into your right knee, pull your left hand high to the sky, gaze it up. Hold for three, hold for two. On one, take it all the way down. We're gonna rotate all the way through the other side. Great. For three, for two. On one, bring it down. Take a nice roll up. While we're getting warmed up, you may like to grab your playlist. Press play, we're gonna get started in about 40 seconds. Roll it down, come straight back down to the earth. Plant your hands, step back to a high plank. Drop your knees down, bring your hands under your shoulders and just taking three rounds of cat and cow. Good, pulling that chin towards the chest, roll it under for one more. Good, and as we pull it back, we're gonna tuck those toes, find your downward facing dog, and just take a little pedal of those legs, warm them up, get a little bit of space in the body. For three, for two, and one. Walk your hands back to your feet, roll yourself up. We're gonna find our way at the back of the mat to get started. We're starting with a duck walk. We're gonna be going for 40 seconds, and we're starting in three, in two, in one, squat down nice and low. Pull yourself all the way to the top of your mat. We're squatting. Good, we're gonna reverse that duck walk. So just going all the way back. Stay low, zip that core on nice and strong. We're here for 40 seconds. Keep going. Good. Now you're gonna start to get used to the movements in this first round. So we're gonna be doing each exercise one after the other, and then we're gonna come back up and repeat those exercises. Good, let's go one more length all the way back. Good, in five seconds, we're gonna be taking a quick little pause and coming into our single leg deadlift. Good, all right, stand your way up nice and quick. Shake those legs out, grab your dumbbells from the top of your mat. Right foot's gonna be forward. Stagger that left foot back, take a nice roll. Off we go, we're coming down. And then pull all the way up, great. All the way down, all the way back. If you need to see this from the side, take a little bend through that leg. Find your shin and then draw it up. Good, focusing on that breath, all the way. Keep pulling those shoulder blades back. Zip that belly button into the, uh, sorry, into the spine. Good, bring it all the way up. Nice. In 10 seconds, we're gonna be swapping legs all the way over. Keep that breath. Keep that control. Final two. And one, take that quick little pause. You're gonna swap legs. Take that opposite foot back, roll those shoulder blades. Two and one, let's go, drive it down. Pull it all the way back up for me. Good, lower down. Now I want you to be mindful here. If your shoulders are rounding and you're looking like this, pull those shoulder blades back. Push your crown of the head to the top of your mat. Drive it up. Good. You should be feeling that sensation in the back of the hamstrings, the glute, as you push your way back and then drive it forward. Good. Nearly there. We're gonna be moving on to a bicep curl in just a moment. Stay with me for about five more reps. Using that breath. Last couple here. Good, and stand your way up. Bring your hands forward. Find a little staggered stance. One foot can be behind. Draw those elbows in. We're gonna draw it up. And then all the way back down. Good, nice and, nice and strong as you pull it up and then bring it down. If you wanna keep that engagement, 
Shorten that range as you just bring it up and down. If you need to take that extra rest, extend the range. Good. Using that breath. After this, we're gonna come straight back down onto our mat, laying on our back. Good, nearly there. Find a little smile, find a little strength. We're here for three, two, on one. Take those dumbbells with you, lay straight on your back. We're gonna take those dumbbells into our chest. Drop your head down onto your mat. Start by lengthening those legs into a bicycle. And then if you want, you can start to add those arms in, find a little press. Good. Now this one's more of a mind exercise than it is for our abs, because we've got to figure out that coordination. So using that breath, if it gets too challenging or your mind's not keeping up, that's okay. Just keep your dumbbells in your chest. Good. How's your coordination? <laughs> Nice, last little bit here. Three, two, on one. We're coming straight back up to those bicycle curls, uh, sorry, those bicep curls. Draw it in, find a staggered stance on the opposite leg. We're going in two and one. Shorten that range this time. Keep all that engagement on those biceps. Use that breath. Go find a little control in your face. Go, nice work. Using that breath. You can slow it down, good. Now sometimes we think the faster we go, the more challenging it is, but if you can slow it down, feel that engagement in those biceps, start to feel that isolation. Good, last little bit. We're gonna be going straight back to your single leg deadlift in three, in two, in one, standing on the left foot, right foot goes back behind, taking five seconds to recover. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now as we set up, pull those hips back, let's go drive it down. All the way up. Now a little trick, if you're getting too low and you start rounding, just come halfway instead of trying to get down to the ground. So mid chin or just below your knee. Great. Using that breath, we're halfway through. You're gonna swap straight to the other side. In about eight more reps. Go ahead, keep them controlled. We're here for three. We're here for two. On one, use that rest to swap legs. Reset, take a nice big breath in. Pull those shoulder blades back. In three, in two, in one, we roll it down. Drive it up, go all the way. Nice. So you should feel that glute pushing back, feel that activation from the hamstring connecting all the way to that sit bone. Slight tuck of that chin under. We wanna keep that length through the spine, through the crown of the head, We're halfway through. Good, using that breath. We got three. We got two. And one. Drop those dumbbells. Set yourself up at the back of your mat. We're gonna finish off with that duck walk. In three, in two, sink low, coming back and forth. I want you to challenge yourself here. How low can you go? How controlled can you be with that duck walk? Good, nice work. All the way forward, all the way back. You should feel that extra burn, especially straight after those deadlifts. Very nice work, send it all the way back. Halfway, let's get a couple more lengths in. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can speed it up. Good. Last little bit, can we get to the back of the mat in that timer, three. Two, and one, stand your way up, Great. shake those legs out. How are we feeling, good? Shake it out, so we're gonna be moving in that same sequence for set number two. Five exercises, we're gonna come down that pyramid and then straight back up once again. Grab a drink if you need it, take a little breather. Good. 
For our first exercise, you're only going to need one of your dumbbells. You're gonna find a low squat hold. We're gonna find an overhead press. Bring that dumbbell into your chest. Zip their belly on, we're going in two, and one sink low. We're pressing that weight forward overhead, bring it back, grit all the way forward. Now you're staying low in this squat for the entire time. You may notice as you fatigue, you're gonna start to creep up. When you notice that, sink a little further down. Now be mindful as you bring your hands forward, not to round your shoulders into your head, just push that weight forward. Keep that core on nice and strong. We're gonna be going down to the ground in three, in two, in one. Drop that weight, come down to the ground, lay on your back. Feet in, knees up to the sky. Hands pressed down, we're rising up. Find your glute bridge and then sink all the way back down. Gentle tuck of that pelvis, drive it up. Feel those glutes fire on. Go using that breath, inhale. Exhale, lower back down. If you wanna add any arms in, you can sweep them up above your head, finding a little bit more stability and then lower back down. Or driving it up and then back down. Really pressing balls of the feet, big toes down to the ground. Feel that stabilization from the feet all the way up to the knees, sending that weight into the glutes. Good, all right, roll yourself over. Find a tabletop, straight over. We're gonna take our hands down onto our forearms. Lift up your left leg, kick it back, extend it long. Tap that knee down to the ground and then extend all the way. Good, tap and then extend nice and long. Beautiful, using your breath as we extend. Good, open. You should feel that activation right through the top of the glute, lengthen that hamstring. Good. Not here for too much longer, then we're gonna swap straight to the other side. Beautiful, last little bit. Last three, last two, and one. Take that little rest, swapping to the other side. Two, and one, let's go up. Send it down, kick it back, send it down, good. All the way up, perfect. Good, like we're donkey kicking back, all the way, power kick that leg. If you wanna play around with activation, you can flex the foot on the way out and then point the toe on the way in. Good. Last little bit here. If you notice that you're fatigued and you're starting to dump into those shoulders, press out of those forearms. Give me five. Last little bit. And last one, kick it up. Take that rest, great. Gonna give you the option, pick up your dumbbells. You can stay on your knees or find your way standing. Bringing them out, zip that core on, up for a lateral raise and then straight back down. All the way. Remembering that we're gonna come straight back to the ground. So if you do choose to come standing, we've got a quick little changeover to come straight back down. Good. Halfway. You wanna feel those elbows in line with those wrists, in line with that pinky finger as we drive up. Good, nearly there. Now we're gonna be climbing back up that pyramid. So dropping straight back to those knee tucks in two and one, find that tabletop, drop those dumbbells. Find your right leg first. Forearms press down, let's go kick it back. Tap that knee down. Try flexing that foot and then pointing that toe. Good. Notice if your back starts to arch, find a little tuck of that pelvis. Good, halfway. You take that quick five second breather in just a moment and we'll swap straight to the other side. Good, we're nearly there. And swap straight over. Get ready for the other side, two and one. Let's go all the way. Good. Play around if it feels okay to flex that foot. If not, just stay with your toe pointed. Good. Keep 
keep focusing on that breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. We're so close. We're gonna be flipping over in just a moment. So keep that strength through that glutes. Then we're gonna fire it up with those glute bridges. Okay, nearly there. Give me three. Oh, nope, time is off. So let's turn it around. Lay yourself down. We're going straight into those glute bridges. Drive it up, drive it down. Either keeping those hands planted on the earth or you can sweep them up. Find a little bit of stability. Chest opening as you lift and lower. Good. Really squeeze those glutes as you drive up. Make sure that core is on nice and strong. Good. This little round is definitely firing up those glutes. So really feel that activation as we drive up and then send it back down. Good. And rest, good. Come straight up to standing. Last exercise in this set. Grab that dumbbell, drop into your squat. Feel the fire in those glutes. Let's go press that weight forward. Drive it up. Press it forward. Good. Sink those bums back. Find a little smile in your face. Good. Press those big toes down. That's gonna help support those knees, support those glutes. Good, we don't have too much longer here. Press. Last little bit, give me five. Four, slow it down. Three, two, on one. Stand yourself up, shake those legs out. Good, walk. Have a little breather. We've got 30 seconds here and then we are coming into our last set. Ground into those bodies. Take a little rock from side to side of those hips. Maybe you find a full circle with those hips, release through that lower back. All right, we're gonna take both of our dumbbells. Grab that drink if you need it. Last little bit of work. You're gonna be stepping back into a lunge, pressing these dumbbells overhead. What that's gonna look like in two, in one step back with the right leg, kick those hands high and then bring it back down. Alternate and then bring it back down, great. Just alternating those legs, power it up. For any point you need to drop down to one dumbbell, that's completely fine. Oop, don't lose your balance. <laughs> and then drive it up. We're so close. We're gonna be coming down to the ground in three, in two, and one. Roll yourself down to the ground. We're finding that Russian twist option to take a weight. Otherwise, plant those heels. Roll your weight back, take your hands together, and we're just tapping from side to side. Good. Nice work. Really find that C curve in the spine as you rotate from side to side. After our twist, we're gonna come straight back up to standing. Grab a hold of those dumbbells. Final five, four, three, good, and a one. Make your way up to your feet. Quick little changeover. If you've got light dumbbells, take both of them into your right hand. We're gonna lower and then drive it up. We're targeting our obliques here. That left hand can either stay out to the side or take it behind your head. Okay. If two dumbbells is too much, just holding the one and dropping the other to the ground. The choice is yours. Good, we're swapping sides in just a moment. So let's get a few more reps here. Really feel those obliques and swap that dumbbell over to the other side and bring your feet a little closer if you need. Let's go, straight in. Go take that hand behind the head. Good. Now the goal is to really work the side of the oblique. So feel that crunch and then return back through center. 
Keep that gentle engagement on that core, Good, using that breath. For the final exercise of this pyramid, you're gonna be picking up both dumbbells. We're coming into a side lateral raise. In five, four, three, go. Keep those reps up and grab that other dumbbell. We're going in two, in one. Keep your arms straight, drive it straight out and then all the way back. If your dumbbells are too heavy for you, drop the dumbbells completely and just focus on those arms reaching to the side. Good. Nice work. You can find a little bend in those knees if you need to. Good. When we transition over, we're coming straight back to that side bend on the left side in three, in two, and one. Either taking that double weight or single, two, and one. Let's go down to the left side, bring it back. Good. We're on that home stretch, climbing back up that pyramid. Final few exercises. Keep it strong as we walk our way back up. Good. Feel that engagement in those obliques. Notice how the body feels. Halfway. Good. Find some strength in that core. We're gonna swap over in three, in two, and one straight to the other side. Roll those shoulders, take that hand behind your ear and let's go straight back in. Good. Squeeze those dumbbells together. Press that weight through the hand. Keep that chest upright as you return back through center. Halfway. Now if you're holding your breath here, start to inhale through the nose, exhale as you return back through center. Good, nearly there. We're gonna be coming straight back down to that Russian twist. If you wanna add some weight for that final round, I encourage you, if not, leave it to the side, lower down. Find your sit bones, find that C curve, hands together, oh, my dumbbells are rolling away, and then roll from side to side. You've just got one more exercise after this, so I want you to keep it strong for these last two. Find a little smile on your face. Find that breath. Do not hold that breath as we get to the end. Good. Last three, two, on one, come straight back up to standing. Grab both of your dumbbells. Find your feet here with distance apart. Let's finish off with that lunge. Step it back overhead, drive it forward. Good. Feel that press all the way. If you're starting to get a little wobbly, take your feet a little bit wider. You are halfway through your final exercise. You can do this. Find that empowerment in yourself. Last little bit. How many reps can you get in before we finish? In three, in two, and in one. Step it forward, drop those dumbbells, grab a quick drink, slow that breath down. Beautiful work. Let's take a little cool down. Find your way top of your mat. Bring your hands down beside your body. Take a nice big roll of those shoulders. Let's take a couple rows here. Finishing the same way we started. Slow your breath down. Go bring that breath back. Inhale, reach those hands high. Exhale, take a nice bow down to the ground. Take an inhale halfway. Step your right foot back. Lower that knee down. Take a little lunge through the front there. Maybe you open that chest. 
If it feels okay, right hand presses down, reach around, grab that back foot. If not, just holding here for two. On one as you return back, just shimmy those hips back, lengthen through that hamstring. And we come forward, we're gonna swap to the other side. So step it forward, take a nice half lift, and swap the opposite leg back, drop that knee, take a little shimmy, chest opens. Maybe you sweep around, grab that back foot. If not, maybe you just find some space for two. And one, shimmy back through those hamstrings. Good. And then coming forward. This time, step your foot back to a tabletop. Find your way in seated. And then bring your palms face up. Close down your eyes for a moment. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, final breath. Exhale, let it go. You can flicker the eyes open. You are all done. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow.